waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Coming up, I'm going to decode some very cryptic babblings of Joe Biden. I just saw on C-SPAN a few minutes ago. I've not seen in the news. Nancy Pelosi says, hey, who wants to get married? Don't get married. Give those kids to the state. Coming up, Mark Moreno, CBS uh, expert, says extreme cold caused by excess heat. Uh, by the way, here's the Climate Depot article that I want posted in full on Infowars.com, guys. Uh, CBS features futurist who promotes paranormal phenomenon of telepathy, telekinesis, and mind reading as a climate expert, blaming record cold on global warming. So he's going to be joining us, and the lead singer of Corn is going to be on as well. Right now, let's uh, go to your phone calls, as promised. Darren in Tejas, you're on the air. Hello, Alex. Hey, How buddy. are you doing? I'm all right. I'm calling about the Steve Stockman campaign. We've got to defeat Corrin. Corrin funded Obamacare. He also voted this week, along with the trader Mitch McConnell, to give unlimited spending to Obama for the next year through 2015, raising the debt ceiling. We have to defeat who? Uh, we need to defeat John Corrin. Oh, you're talking about Senator Corrin, and yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, Senator Corrin, basically. He uh, needs to be defeated here in the March 4th primary, Republican primary. He has these he ads has going. He, he goes, I have guns. You have guns. We, we like guns. Vote for me. Now, he's definitely a rhino. And uh, who, would you, uh, who would you like to see in there other than uh, John Cornyn? Steve Stockman. Steve Stockman currently is a congressman from Texas. No, I know. He's a great guy, and he gets the full endorsement of uh, a lot of groups I like, like Gun Owners of America. He has never voted to raise the debt ceiling. By the way, they've now voted to make it basically unlimited until March 2015. Well, but, you know, oh, wait a yeah, minute. Obama said, I mean, ra oh, Obama says raising the debt doesn't raise the debt. <laughs> now, are you racist, sir? Uh, I guess I must be. Yeah, you don't laugh at our Lord and Savior. And again, I'm not blasphemous, but that's what Jamie Foxx calls him. So I appreciate your call. Yeah, we got to get rid of John Corn and get rid of all the Republican neocons that are saying, be nice, Tea Party, be nice, Libertarians, while they try to raise record money with the Democrats to beat the Tea Party. Uh, let's go to Bill in Wisconsin. You're on the air, first time caller. Welcome. How you doing, Alex? Doing all right, brother. Okay. What I'm concerned about, uh, I was on the LaRouche PAC activist conference call last night. Yesterday, Congress passed 362 to 2, with some votes, you know, not being uh, coming forward. But Walter Jones was one of the two. I think there was another uh, Republican from Kentucky that voted against this. Now, what this was was a resolution in support of the George Soros uh, bunch of protesters that are attempting to attack uh, the Ukraine. No, exactly. And it's not like we're saying side with Russia, but the, the EU wants to suck Ukraine dry and move weapons in to start a fight with Russia, and that's immoral. And yes, I know they had that resolution in Congress. That's disgusting. This is a declaration of war, essentially, against Russia. And the LaRouche people are working for the impeachment of Obama. Because well, yeah, when am I getting LaRouche or his wife on? Is that, they wanted to come on. They're on next yeah, week. Get them on. Get them on, for Pete's sakes. We are on the cusp of nuclear war. I know. I know. Okay. And it could break out any number of spots, okay? The no, no, that's what's crazy. That, that's what's crazy. Stan, I'm going to come back to you. Recap your thoughts about you, because it is. Every mainline analyst says we're in more danger now in the Cuban Missile Crisis. And this time, it's not the Soviets who are the overall bad guys starting everything. 
our government run by a bunch of Wall Street crazy guys that'll make 400 to 1 bets like John Corzine did. These guys are crazy. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Uh, do you know why that was not done? There are exceptions to that rule. Uh, I do not know, however. Again, uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that I don't know. I, I just don't know. I don't know whether or not. Uh, I just don't know. I don't know exactly how IRS is constructed. It. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know when the subpoena was issued. Well, I don't know precisely. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know the specific questions. Now, again, I don't know what happened. Well, either you know or you don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I, I don't know. I, I just don't know when. I don't know. I'm not from. I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Oh, all right. I did not know. I don't know what you all are going to ask me. I didn't know. Uh, I, I technically. I, I don't know. I don't know. I see nothing. I don't know. From the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. But they are openly persecuting the Tea Party big time. Any conservative or libertarian group, pro-life groups, you name it, they're all being persecuted by the, I don't know, criminal justice department caught committing so many crimes openly, it makes my head spin. We're going back to your calls with a Bill and Art and Terry and Lee and uh, Mike and so many others, 800-259-9231, first-time callers. We're taking your calls uh, here today, now into the second hour. This is some of the news breaking up on InfoWars.com. Right now, U.S. Army builds fake city in Virginia to practice military occupation. Martial law training? 
300 acre town includes sports stadium, school, underground subway. Well, Paul asked that question. It's all over the news. Uh, the U.S. Army admits their main threat is Tea Party insurgents, and he links to the West Point training manuals uh, in the Infowars.com article. And of course, the uh, National Guard training, DrudgeReport.com carried it this week. And it was all over the news, uh, training to, quote, take on the Tea Party when they use bioweapons to attack because they're pro-Second Amendment supporters. So you're like, yeah, but that doesn't have any basis in reality. It's called a demonization campaign ahead of political open persecution. They're already using the IRS and everything on people. I mean, we're in trouble. And a lot of folks are like, well, I better go hoist an Obama flag. When they've gotten rid of their opposition, they're going to go after everybody including their moron idiot supporters. That's the way this works. They hate their moron supporters even more than they hate those of us that oppose them. People better study history. Those of you think you're on some winning team serving this. Amazing. I, I want to send reporters to cover that. That's interesting. Uh, Oregon police give nightclubs ID scanners to determine customers' identities and age. I love how I've seen this for 15 years or more where they'll card an old woman buying pipe tobacco for her husband or a six pack of beer at the drugstore. And I always go, uh, why are you doing that? Well, we have to swipe it. State police like it when we do that. Or the uh, Texas Department of TBI, what's it called? What's the alcohol department called? TABC, yeah. So it's like, well, we just better swipe everybody because first it was if you look under 21, we card you. Then it's if you look under 30, we card you. Now it's like old man on a walker, we're, we're going to card you. And then now you go in to get stuff at the drugstore over the counter. Oh, we're going to swipe your card. Oh, it goes in a database. And then it's all shared under Obamacare. All given to everybody. Why did we ever have privacy to begin with? By the way, Sean Parker is in the news. I met Sean Parker. Billionaire Sean Parker helps the wor uh, hates the world he helped create. I'm going to read that article. It just came up on Forbes. I got it up on Infowars.com. I'm going to see exactly what he's talking about. That is a guy jumping up and down, running around wild. I got to read this. Guys, print that for me, please. Thank you. So we're going to be talking about that. But my point is, is that you go now to a bar anywhere. Oh, let me just swipe your card to get in here. That's to create metadata on everywhere you go. It's not enough that they're tracking your cell phone in real time, marking where you went. It's not enough they're watching you over cameras and watching you over your own home computer. That's all admitted now. It's all completely illegal. Now they're just putting these systems in everywhere to politically dominate. And oh, you know, they've got legislation introduced to have kill switches, which are already in the phones, by the way, but have the power to turn everybody's cell phone off in a city, a state, you name it, so they can't communicate while the technocracy takes over or, or, or while the elite get their money out of the banks. This is a totally one-sided, no checks and balance, nightmare system that's being built right now. So there's that story. Police blame bar owners for not knowing law after getting caught pushing them into surveillance program. Police in, how do you say that, Multnomah County quietly suspended a new data mining program this week after a local newspaper began questioning its legality. The last several weeks, police have issued ID scanning devices to clubs and bars all throughout Portland's Old Town neighborhood. The scanners not only captured customers' personal data, including names and photos, but uploaded all the information to police database. And when the cops got caught, they went, oh, it's an accident. It's just meant to check and make sure you're of age. <laughs> That's total bull. After receiving a three-year alcohol abuse reduction grant, they found out how much you're drinking and give it to the insurance companies. They were awarded $60,000 to obtain the police-run scanners for multiple drinking establishments. And then, of course, they force everybody to do it. Despite Oregon law placing strict limits on storing and sharing information from ID scanners, specifically police were persistent in getting local bars to comply with the program. Yeah, right. I love it. Gotta love it, man. That's because the cops are compartmentalized, too. A lot of the cops actually don't like this, so they're, like, trying to enforce that it not get all your data. You're compartmentalized. They don't want you knowing all the data is being sent, okay? The globalists want to just set the precedent for all this. Belgium socialists get ready to okay child euthanasia. Children will be required to tell psychologists they understand what euthanasia is. So now... The state's going to be able to convince your five-year-old they want to die, uh, and then they'll kill you. 
and they're going to make